It's your place for everything you need to know about Glendale. It's Glendale A to Z. Hi everyone and welcome to Glendale A to Z. Find out what you want to know about Glendale in just five minutes. I'm Julie Waters. Today we are talking about the Glendale Civic Center. And our guest is Marty Brown, Acting General Manager for the Civic Center. Thanks so much for being here. My pleasure, Julie. So what is the Glendale Civic Center and where is it located? The Glendale Civic Center is a multi-purpose municipal facility which is located right in the heart of historic downtown Glendale between Glendale Avenue, Catlin Court on 57th Drive. It's really a beautiful building. Thanks, when it you, is. When you drive by, it totally catches your eye. How long has Glendale owned this facility? Well, the facility was dedicated in 1999, and that's the same year that we started actively pursuing business. Um, about 2000, we started holding events there. And let's talk about events. What type of events can you have at the Glendale Civic Center? Really anything from A to Z, uh, soup to nuts. We do weddings, corporate events, uh, graduations, uh, all types of events. So size-wise, what's the smallest event that you've had there and what's the largest? Well, anywhere from 5 to 15 people can fit into one of our two boardrooms, uh, really nice multi-use rooms, uh, up to about 1,100 people for a graduation. You know, there are a lot of special event facilities throughout the entire valley. You mm -hmm. know this. It's sure. your industry. What makes the Glendale Civic Center different than all of the others? Well, the fact that it's owned by a city, by the city of Glendale, it's a municipal building, and it is so beautiful. The architecture is so eye-catching, and people come there to uh, take a tour, and our, our ratio to, uh, from people actually taking a look at the building and actually booking with us is really high. Really? Because, yeah, because once they get in there and see that rotunda and see the beautiful architecture, the rotunda is so nice. Uh, it really sells itself. Now, we have a lot of special events in downtown we Glendale. Do. We are known for mm -hmm. holding the special events and our festivals. Right. I understand that the Civic Center has a connection to those events because you guys believe in having the doors open so the public can come and see it? We do. Um, during all special events, what we're doing is having a mock room setups. Uh, we deploy the air walls in a fashion to where people can actually come in and see how the room cuts up and, and really how special and how interesting the building actually is. And people are a bit intimidated. They're like, well, we really don't need to have this much space. Well, with, like I said, with the deployment of those air walls, we can cut that room up into yeah. six different rooms. Yeah, and I'm sure the prices then vary as well. It does. It varies on the size of room and the amount of people right. that you're going to have. So you're telling me that if residents are in downtown Glendale mm -hmm. for Glendale Glitters or the Chocolate Affair, sure. Um, the Civic Center is open for a few hours during the festivals they can come by. We are a partner with special events. Uh -huh. uh, we're part of the marketing department and what we want to do is make sure that people understand that not only do we have great special events in downtown yeah. Glendale, but they can have their special yeah. event right there at the Civic Center. Sure. Let's talk about the industry mm. that you're in, the, the sure. special event and planning industry. It's, it's tough everywhere. It, it is. doesn't really matter what industry you're in right now. Right. So how are things for you all, and how, how are things for the Civic Center with booking events? Well, in the industry as a whole, we're, we're still down uh -huh. um, as an industry. And, um, and I, wouldn't, I, I, I wouldn't feel comfortable giving a percentage right now, but I would say anywhere from 40 to 60 percent across the board, across the country, people are down. The, the good news is that we're beginning to see bookings coming back at the Civic Center, and that I, I really attribute to the fact that the, the personalized service that my staff gives and the, the cost effectiveness of the building and its, and its ability to be so flexible for their needs, I think that's one of the reasons that's going to push us over the top. Sure. Your staff helps sell the events there, don't they? they we sell all of our own events, yep. Yeah. yeah. We sure do. And, and you have catering also? We do. We just, have, we, we just hired... Uh, and enlisted the aid of a new caterer, Fabulous Food, and they are fabulous. The food we, is good. It is, it. Good. it is it's, good. It is yeah. good. For a banquet situation, our food is probably the best I've ever had. That's great. How about the future? Give us a sneak peek. What's going to happen down Well, we've just booked a couple of car shows, one for January, one for October, just today. And uh, we also, of course, have you know our signature events like the Mayor's State of the City, um, the um, uh, Cesar Chavez Breakfast, sure. and the MLK Luncheon. But there's other events, corporate events, that uh, a lot of our corporate partners are, are booking now. And, and that's really encouraging because that means they're booking. Others are probably going to come behind them. Right. And things are going to start getting better. That's great. Marty Brown, thanks. Acting General Manager from the Glendale Civic Center. Thanks for being here on Glendale A to Z. Once again, folks, for more information, go to the city's website, glendaleatoz.com slash civic center. For Glendale A to Z, I'm Julie Waters. See you next time.